Today I'm going to teach you how to convert dt graph to vt graph to at graph by divide and conquer method. So let's get it started. So first let me give you the, the, the dt graph. Object moves with a, with a constant velocity. Let put object at rest. Let make sure object accelerate. And, uh, and, and let's um, an object reverse the direction. It reverse the direction. Okay, so it accelerates. It's reverse the direction, and it's come back to the same place. So make sure object return to the same place. So if object return to the same place, then its displacement is zero, which is which is what we want time is in second and distance is in meters. Let me first put time 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second, 5 second, 6 second, 7 second. Okay. This is my VT. This is my VT. And this is my AT. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do. I can definitely divide and conquer. So I'm going to separate this piece from this. And I'm going to separate this one is carb. So th there is, a, there is a some acceleration over here. So I'm going to separate this one from this one because this is diagonal. And I'm going to separate this one because this is end of the curve from this one. So let's see how many distinct pieces reasons we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six distinct reasons, and we're going to convert each and every reason separately. So let's first understand this one. What's going on here? The object changes its position with constant velocity. What does that mean? The object changes its position every second. How much? Let's put some value. 2, 4, negative 2, negative 4. All right, let's say object changes its, uh, its, its position 2 meter per second. 2 meter per second constant velocity. That means the slope of this green line is this one. All right. And the slope of this green line is 2 meter per second. Very good. Now let's do this part. This part the object is at rest. That means object do not change its position from 1 to 2 second. 1 to 2 second object at rest. What does that mean? That means object velocity is 0 from 1 to 2 second. All right. That's great. Its velocity is 0 from 1 to 2 second. Okay. Let's look at the next reason. Next reason object accelerate object accelerate and object accelerate. So, if just want to remind you when you take the slope of a curve you get a diagonal line. When you take a slope of a diagonal line you get a horizontal line. If dt graph if dt graph is is a curve then vt then velocity is then velocity is a diagonal line if vt graph is a diagonal line then acceleration is horizontal line so dt graph is curve 
that means the VT graph must be a diagonal okay so object from 2 to 3 second object accelerate from 3 to 4 second object remain object changes position but with constant velocity how much uh, it looked like 4 meter per second it looked like 4 meter per second so 4 meter per second constant velocity 4 meter per second what happened object slow down and object reverse reverses direction right here when object reverses direction object velocity is 0 object velocity is 4 over here so it should be it should be negative 4 over here because this one and this one same in magnitude opposite in direction so I'm gonna to have to find negative 4 and I'm gonna connect this dot all right and pretty much object return back same location return back to the same location return back to the same location with same <laughs> velocity but opposite in direction which is negative 4 meter per second okay now let's find the acceleration so acceleration is 0 over here because there is no change in velocity so the slope of this green is 0 slope of this red is 0 acceleration is 0 slope of this green is not zero so there is an acceleration from two to three second okay so that's that's okay all right and slope of this one is zero so there is no acceleration between three to four second slope of this negative that means there is a uh, so that means there is a um negative acceleration from four to five second which that's okay all right that's that's okay and there is no acceleration between five to seven second no acceleration between five to seven second all right so let me explain what let me explain one more time so the displacement is zero why the displacement is zero because the object will return exactly same location that means the area under the curve of vt graph must be zero let's we did not draw it in a scale but let's try let's try maybe we'll get close that means area above this line above this line is equal to area below this line if you add them up you get zero or close to zero since you did not draw it in a scale so th what is the area of this one this is two what is the area of this one so this is one times four is four so this is two what is the area of this one one times four is four what is the area of this one this is 1 this is 0.5 so this must be 1 if this is 1 this is negative 1 and this is negative 4 times 2 this is negative 8 so on the top I have 2 plus 2 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 on the top I have 9 on the bottom I have negative 8 and negative 1 negative 9 so total displacement is 9 minus 9 is 0, which makes sense.